Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I have for you another Calico Critters unboxing and we have three different play sets to open up today. So if you want to see these unboxed, let's go ahead and get started. So originally I was going to do another Calico Critters haul, but I just didn't have the time. So I figured I would do a bunch of unboxings and then just throw in the pieces that were supposed to be in that haul. So if you haven't seen the last couple videos, I'll go ahead and throw them in the description below. Also, if you haven't seen the Calico Critters baby nursery themed play sets unboxed. I'll link that in the iCards as well as the description because this is just a continuation of that video. I have three different baby nursery themed sets. We have the one on the top that is the baby ropeway park. It retailed for $19.88 and I got it for $1.90 at Walmart. Then we have the Calico Critters Baby Balloon Playhouse retailed $17.88 and I got it for $5.90 at Walmart. And then lastly we will be opening up the Calico Critters Baby Windmill park and that one retailed $17.88 and I got it for $12.15. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the packages of each one of them and then I'll unbox them off camera and we'll come back and take a look at each of the pieces up close. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first we do have the baby rope parkway. Originally I wasn't going to get this one because it's not necessarily part of the baby nursery set but I figured since it was a baby play set and it was for less than two dollars I'd pick it up. Just like a bunch of the other baby play sets this one does include Henry Sweet Pea Rabbit. It lets you know that the gondola and windmill move when the string is pulled and this is considered an accessory set. This one is part of the outdoor set that's why I don't think it's supposed to be with all the nursery stuff. It just happens to be called baby parkway or whatever so I picked it up and threw it in this video. Here is a bigger picture of what it is and then it shows you how to use it. Pull the logs, the windmill spins, and the gondola moves side to side and then of course it lets you know what's included. So I'm really excited to get this one open. I do only need a few other pieces to complete the baby nursery set and it's the tree house, the new little panda ride they made, and like the baby hedgehog area. Then we have the baby balloon playhouse. This one I'm also really excited about. I think this is just a great piece aesthetically to have displayed. It includes a pool, bed, piano, and more. And as you can see, this one does belong to the baby nursery set because this one can go on top of the baby castle, which I have still yet to get. So I actually need that one as well. And this shows you what the other side of the balloon looks like out of the packaging. So again, pool, bed, piano, and more. It says play the piano, enjoy the pool, good night. So this one's really, really cute. And then just on this side, again, it shows everything that's included. And and I don't believe this one tells you the name of that cat. Normally it does, but it didn't say like includes cat. So on the bottom, it does let you know that Angelica Tuxedo Cat is the one that is in this playset. And then the last thing we will be opening is the Baby Windmill Park. This one's really cute because it reminds me of the Ferris wheel that I opened in that other video. As you see, this is also part of that the Baby Castle Nursery set. And this one can also potentially go on the top of that nursery. And then the back shows you again how it works and the picture up close. I love this Jason Cuddle Bear right there in the window. And it reads, spin windmill to swing seats. So that's pretty cute. And then ride the slide, seesaw with a friend. And again, it just shows you everything included in this one. And we'll have to go to the bottom to see the name of this friend. This is Ryan the Persian cat. So that's weird. Normally it says includes so-and-so, but at least it says on the bottom. So I really like this one and I cannot wait to get these open. So we'll just go ahead and start opening.
All right, friends, so that's absolutely everything we're opening up for this video. I did want to say that the windmill came with instructions on how to put it together. However, it was already put together in the box. So this, I guess, is just in case maybe it comes apart or it didn't come assembled. The other two didn't come with any instructions, but there was nothing to put together on those. I will say I had a lot of fun opening these, but I don't necessarily know if I like the windmill or the rope park. The hot air balloon I absolutely adore. I think it is so cute. I love the accessories it came with. I love the little tuxedo cat that also came with it. I do love the Persian cat and the sweet pea rabbit that came in the other two sets, but I don't necessarily know if I like the play sets themselves. So I don't know if I'll keep them. I may donate them. I may keep them to see how I feel about them later, but they're just not really doing anything for me. They're kind of cute, but also kind of plain. I do have the baby Ferris wheel if you saw the other video. So it's kind of like this, but it interacts a lot better. The rope swing, there's not much to it other than the little chair moves across. So it's not something that I necessarily really feel like I have to have in my collection, but nonetheless, they're all really cute. They're all very, very good quality. And I would definitely recommend Obviously, I got mine at really good prices, so I got a really good deal. But I would say if I saw these at regular price, I would definitely probably still have picked them up. I think each one of them coming with the extra little critter was really nice. So you could just play with these by themselves and you wouldn't necessarily have to get additional pieces. And then, of course, if you have a bunch of them, you have a bunch of critters that can interact with the pieces. So I like that as well. But like I said, the hot balloon one definitely is my favorite because it doubles not only as a playset but also as a baby house so I really really do like that and overall it's just really cute it has more than just pastel colors the neutral tan kind of brings it all together and then of course like I said the little accessories are really cute as well in the comments below let me know which one was your favorite and why don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really does help me out make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell that way you can be notified of when the next calico critter unboxing goes up on the channel other than that I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one Bye, friends.